Good evening guys, welcome to tonight's video. I thought I'd do this one on my personal one again because it sort of follows on from last night. So um, last night I talked about the snooze button, hitting the snooze button and why it's basically ruining your whole day. Okay, so oh, sorry about that, just pause. Um, so I'm going to follow on from that and talk about how we can get out of this. Okay, so snoozing is it's basically a habit. It becomes a habit for us, okay? And you can categorize that alongside things like overthinking, procrastination, hesitation, fear, anxiety. They're all what we call default behaviors that we default back to. So almost like habits, okay? Now, the biggest problem with these is time makes them worse. You all know this. So the more you think about it, the worse it gets, the worse the fear gets, the worse the anxiety gets, the worse the overthinking gets. The longer you spend in bed, the harder it is to get out, okay? So you need to interrupt this, okay? And this is what this is. Now, I'm going to try and keep this short, but the information I've got is from a 40-minute video that I watched. So I'm going to try and condense it as much as I can. Um, so it's called the five-second rule, okay? It's uh, from a lady called Mel Robbins. I haven't read the book yet. I'm going to order it now after this. Uh, I don't get anything from doing this by, you know, obviously recommendations or anything. But I highly suggest you read it or look her up, uh, Mel Robbins, Five Second Rule. And basically, it is something that you do that interrupts these habits, okay? So what it does is it interrupts the part of your brain that is responsible for your habits and it activates the part of your brain that is responsible for changing behaviors um, and doing something new or what you when you're excited, basically, okay? So all you do, so when you have a moment or an instinct of what something that you think you should do, so let's say you're lying in bed and you think you should get out of bed, maybe you're thinking about going to the gym, uh, eating healthy food, making a business call, whatever, whenever you get that instinct, you're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, and you're gonna do it, okay? So what this does, it gives you no time to think about it. It gives you no time to come up with excuses why you shouldn't do it. It gives you nothing. All it does, it doesn't give you time for any of that to grow. It's just five, four, you like, so for example, you're lying in bed, you're thinking, shall I hit the snooze button? Shall I hit the snooze button? Right, you go, no, I've, you catch yourself doing it. You go five, four, three, two, one, and you get out of bed. Okay? And it's interrupting that procrastination, that overthinking, okay? Because thinking doesn't help anything, okay? Action helps, okay? Action produces results, okay? And you can use this all day throughout your life. They say that about 50% of everything that we do in a day, we're basically running on autopilot. We're just in habit mode. We're not even consciously thinking about it, basically, okay? Um, and what this does as well, it's really great because it builds confidence because you learn to trust yourself. So you learn to almost sort of do what you said you were going to do, if you know what I mean. And you you almost like reiterate the fact that you can do it. Um, and you teach yourself not to default to thinking, but you teach yourself to default to action, okay? And action solves everything. Thinking solves nothing. Thinking makes everything worse. We all know this. Um, and I'll give you a very quick example. Um, this is the example that you use in the video. And basically what it says is... Our body does things that we can't control, but we can control how we think about it, okay? So, for example, if you uh, are at a concert, your favourite band or whatever, and you're in the front row and, you know, you're, you're really excited, what, what happens with your body? You know, maybe you get sweaty hands, you get sweaty armpits, you, your heart rate's um, elevated, you know, you've probably got like a tight or dry throat, you know, but you're excited and you're excited for what's happening now. Now, take some... The exact same person, let's say that they're afraid of public speaking. They're up on stage and having to speak in front of a crowd of people. What's happening physiologically? They're sweating, their heart rate's up, their, their throat's tight and dry. Um, they've got sweaty armpits, clammy hands, butterflies. It's exactly the same. The only difference is how your brain interprets it. Okay, So what you're going to do, and this is how it works basically. So whenever you get those feelings... Um, you're going to count five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's say just for public speaking, for example, you hate public speaking. You know, five, four, three, two, one. And when you get to one, you're going to think about a moment in your life where you're excited. You're going to project excitement, okay? Um, because that, or when you're getting the beginning symptoms of fear, you're going to project excitement, okay? And that is going, again, it just kills that time and you just do it. Because that's, again, it's how your brain perceives what's happening, okay? 
Um, and they've actually done a study. Um, she said to Google, reappraising performance anxiety. It's a Harvard study. And basically, they studied people before they took a test, before they sang karaoke. And what they did is they taught them right before they got these symptoms to say that they were excited to do it. And what this did is it immediately switches your brain to read differently what your body is thinking. Okay, so you can just as easily think that you're nervous and you can just as easily think you're excited. The physical symptoms are the same. The only difference is how your brain interprets it. Okay, so that is a quick ish video. Sorry, it's gone a bit long. Like I say, this is a 40 minute video, so I've tried to condense it down. So basically, I highly suggest you uh, YouTube her if this is something that you. Um, it sounds good. Uh, it's Mel Robbins' Five Second Rule. Uh, like I say, I'm going to purchase a book because I think it sounds unbelievable. There's so much science behind it. And basically, it's just a way of interrupting your habits. So whenever you get that gut instinct of something that you know you should do, do not think about it. Five, four, three, two, one. Count backwards as well. It's very important. And as soon as you hit one, do it. Okay? So... Hopefully you got some value from that. It's just a way to bust out of those bad habits, basically, okay? Um, so like I say, hopefully you got some value from that. Uh, if you did, I always appreciate like, comments, and shares. Um, hopefully you got some value. Have a great evening, guys, and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.